Hello everyone, welcome back to Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. We're in my uh, 14 foot by uh, 10 foot greenhouse. We attempt to uh, recreate a, a tropical warm paradise in the middle of miserable, rainy, wet and very dull uh, north of the UK on the 53rd parallel, in case you missed that in the title. Um, so today I came home from my day's gardening, uh, which is the job that I do, and one of the jobs that I do, and I've got a nice little surprise because I have a man-eating plant, I hope, in a very small box, and I'm going to let you see um, what kind of state it's in. I've never bought from this seller before, it's a seller off eBay. Um, it wasn't particularly expensive, I'm not expecting a very large plant. Um, it was about £10, uh, which for this particular uh, species of plant is actually very, very uh, reasonable, more than reasonable in fact, but let's see what kind of condition it's in. So I'm going to flip you around and you can have a look at the unboxing of this um, unknown plant as of yet. Okay. Okay, so unfortunately, um, as I'm new to this game, I've only got a tiny little tripod, which means that you've got to be up close and in your face and personal um, with this box. So I'm hoping you can see it there. I'm sure as time goes on, I'll uh, get all the gadgets for this kind of stuff. Very nice of them to write, uh, fragile handle with care on the box. Um, I'm quite sure the postal service treated it with the utmost respect and consideration. That's not working, let's try that. Right, so as you'd expect for, for £10, um, it's in a Buster plug hole unblocker bathroom mighty one shot power box. I mean it doesn't really matter does it, as long as it's the plant's alright and it's protected. So let's see what we've got. I'm sorry this is a horrendous view for you. Like I say, as time goes on, I'll get all the gadgets that's needed. Believe me, I will not skimp on gadgets. It's one thing I can't ever be accused of. So, get that out of there. Um, I'll pick you up so you can have a look. Right, <laughs> yikes. So, what have we got? Yeesh. My goodness, that is a very small one. So this is a Nepenthes hookeriana. I believe that's some kind of cross. Um, as you can, as you might expect, uh, having travelled through our postal service, it's not looking in the best condition at the moment. But actually, I've seen worse, and it's looking okay. It's very small, but I think for ten pound, I think it's uh, a bargain actually. So I may well use this seller again. Um, so that's it. I can't really tell you anything about this particular Nepenthes at the moment, other than it's a cross. Um, I just wanted to see whether it was worth getting any more from this seller, and I think I will, looking at that. That's, that's alright. Of course, you know, the soil's going to come out. They've done the best to keep it in uh, with this plastic they put over the top there. Um, you know, it just needs a bit of a top up, a bit of a tidy up, uh, a wash and brush, and it should be okay. And then. Uh, all that's needed then is the right conditions and one huge dollop of patience and uh, hopefully it take, it'll take off and go with the rest of the collection. Um, so I think that's it for now, so I'll leave it at that and once I've learned a little bit more about it I'll jump back on the video and I'll uh, tell you a little bit more about it. Okay, don't forget if you like this video like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so here it is, all cleaned up. Nepenthes hookeriana. It's not looking too bad now, actually, now that it's got soil in it. Um, pictures are not only tiny, but they're looking good. I've just done a little search on it. Um, and apparently, Nepenthes hookeriana is a, a natural hybrid. Um, and it's a cross between, if I see if I can remember these, uh, Rafflesiana and Ampularia. Oh, I believe it makes a difference which way you say those. So Ampularia cross with Rafflesiana. 
that's the right way around. Um, the only fly in the ointment is that I believe, even though it's supposedly vigorous and a hardy, you know, tough little plant, fast grower, um, it's a warm grower. And as I've been mentioning in my other videos, um, that the highest temperature I can keep it through winter without it breaking the bank is 12 degrees. So this is a lowlander. Um, and I believe they like it a minimum really 15 to 17 degrees. However, as with a lot of plants in here, it will just have to lump it and put up with it. So I'll put it in whatever I can find that is you know, the warmest part of the greenhouse and it will just have to rub along with the others. Surely um, three degrees won't make that much difference. <laughs> Famous last words, we'll see. So anyway, well, I'll keep my eye on it and uh, you know, if it looks like it's suffering then I'll, I'll take it into the house or a conservatory. Um, but I'd rather have them in here, but we'll see anyway. So I shall put it up in pride of place with all my other Nepenthes and let's see how it copes. Okay, see you on the next one.